Guys, welcome to a new series, how to attack in chess. And in today's video, we're going to start analyzing some of the games and positions. As you can see the topic, the attack against the castle king. So the first game starts with c4, e5, knight e3, knight f6, knight f3, knight c6. Actually, attacking in chess is really important. You know, you want to be aggressive. You want to play beautiful chess, not some boring Berlin. Knight d4, bishop b4, knight c6, stakes, and here white play. G3, which is, I mean, slight mistake, can't really name it as a mistake. So, something like e3 would be, you know, maybe safer. But again, it's a bit more passive. Maybe this bishop f4, and then e3, maybe queen b3 right away, hitting this bishop. G3. All right, let, let's call it a mistake. Queen is seven. Bishop G2. And now black play bishop A6, attacking the pawn on C4. So of course, why defend? And here, I mean, honestly, I would play something like Queen D4. But again, I assume after Queen D4, there is still the move D5. So after Queen D3. This is now on the same diagonal as this bishop on a6. And we play d5, pinion the spawn on c4, and it can't take because basically bishop is opened up and will win the queen. So b3 was played. And now the crucial move. Look, the king is still uncastled. And b3 was played weakening this knight on this diagonal and if we were able to remove the defender from c3 knight will win the game but how we can you know set up some tricks in this position look we can use the t file in our advantage so black play d4 and the idea of d4 is basically let's say oh bishop c6 oh no my pawn we just play king of eight we don't care and if bishop a8, there is bishop c3, and let's say king f1, bishop a1, and let's just count pieces to bishops at knight, while white have only two bishops, so black are up a piece. So after this d4 move, white decided to take, you know, they still protect, they think it's good, but now we play the move rook d8, we bring our rook to this d file, and now again. You know, white can obviously take, which they did in the game, and black just simply reply with called king f8. Now, again, this has been attacked. There is a pin on this knight with the king. The best move according to the computer is queen a7, but here white played bishop d5, and beautiful finish. Again, you know, gotta look for all those combinations, all those tricks looks. So, uh, Bishop on a6. It is looking towards e2 pawn, right? Our queen is on the file, potentially attacking this. You know, there is pin here. Look how beautiful our pieces are. It's a complete domination and rook here on d file pinning this bishop. And the move we chance the game is brilliant rook d5. And basically, the idea is if c takes d5, which is, I mean, looks like the only legal move in the position. Basically, black checkmate, and they win the game. And after rook d5, white admitted their loss. Let's get to the position number two. I mean, we start yet another game, but now it starts with e4, e5, f4. King's Gambit, one of the most aggressive. But again, if black know how to reply, if they know theory, then they should be alright. But here they played bishop c5, not the main move, knight f3 d6, bishop c4, knight f6, active pieces, c3. Even though here, again, according to engine, black are better, knight c6, queen a2, rook e8, f5. And look, so here it's actually interesting. So, of course, f5 is played, right? Here, what we have is this, our rook is on e8, while white have their queen and king on the e-file, and it's only the, like the question of how we can use this in our advantage as, okay, 
why will have to spend few moves anyways? Like they will have to play Bishop of Ecos right now, it's just blocking G1, white can't castle. But it's black's move here, they play d5. And here, of course, they're trying to open it up. E file. Bishop b3 was played. Again, they're not taking on d5 because then you know it will collapse. But here, black use it by playing bishop f5. So again, rook on e8. Queen on e2, king on e1, and we're exploiting this e file. So again, why didn't take? Because basically e4 and the game. The position is completely lost. The only move according to computer is king e1. But still, it's completely lost. And black will have won the game. But so why decided to play bishop g5? You know, they pin this knight. But still, black don't care, they take, take, bishop b4, and now white played queen c4. Here again, many winning moves, black played queen d5, and here white decided not to take, I mean, black wanted to go to an endgame where they're up upon, you know, be safe, but here white played queen b5, and again, look at this. So they just basically set up themselves. So bishop f2 and white resigned. And now I'll show you two different positions. So the first one is this one again with black. I'm not sure why we have only black pieces today. I think the last one is actually, yeah, the last one is with white. So here again look on queen on e4 pinion skin king is uncastled again we are analyzing how to attack and cast kings our king was already castled there is again we gotta pay attention to basically this pin you know our our bishop pins this knight potentially our bishop is ready at some point to go here and we gotta use all this to make the move here and the best move here is to play rook d4 not knight d4 uh, as it's completely different because basically i'll show you why it's not i mean it's still possible but it's not uh, the winning move so rook d4 and the idea of rook d4 is that after let's say knight d4 knight d4 c takes d4 or let's say uh, how this works, c takes e4, basically bishop b4, basically knight protects bishop, that's why not knight e4 first move, here knight e4, knight e4 takes, and now bishop b4, and the idea of bishop b4 move is basically to distract this queen on d2 from protecting e2 bishop, and the queen before now, this is a checkmate. So king f2 was played, and of course it's lost, after bishop d2, bishop g4, f5, bishop d2 takes, rook h1, queen d4, black won the game, and white therefore resigned. And the last position for today's episode is this one. Again, we see uncastle king on e8. We got the spin on e file. And here, move like queen 2 would actually be a mistake because black can actually escape by playing king f8 and let's say takes, takes, knight g5, knight f5, black are actually fine and they're a lot better, they attacked knight on g5, they attacked pawn on d4, so I mean black have no troubles here even though you know the king wasn't castle but here is artificial castle basically king will go to g7 and at some point maybe rook a trying to trade pieces they are completely all right so in the starting position white play bishop f6 you know they still maintain this pressure on this diagonal and not diagonal on this file and at the same time you know now we hit this rook and basically if castle now which is not possible because king was already moved so rook f8 was played rook e7 knight e7 queen e2 queen d7 
and now of course rookie one so we basically what we did we played rookie seven instead of bishop e7 queen e2 because that way there is a huge difference actually because king can actually escape from this side and let's say here there also was king e7 move but again it just doesn't work because of rookie one rook e8 queen b5 queen c4 d5 this and white queens do the huge domination queen e2 queen d7 rook e1 and now basically white will take the knight on 7 on the next move queen e6 queen b5 c6 queen b7 and black resign because i mean rook e7 is coming rook on e8 is hanging everything's under attack so that's it for today's episode let me know in the comments what do you think if it was helpful to you i'll see you in the next ones bye bye